Hey guys, I'm here with a really quick journal share today. This is my Christmas collection for 2021, finally. I am releasing this collection a little bit later than I would have liked. I'm running a little bit behind, but I still wanted to get these out as soon as possible. So these are going to be available in my Etsy shop very, very soon. I'll have the date and the time in the description down below. In this video, I just wanna give you a really quick glimpse at the entire collection. So this year I've done another soft cover collection and I also have two hard cover journals available. So this is the first hard cover journal in the green. It has this little image of the children. This came from a vintage Christmas book. There's some gold embossing on the cover and some little details to remind you of snow, hopefully. There is the spine with the binding. There are nine signatures. One signature is a envelope though. And then here are the little beads and charms on the spine. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick glimpse inside. I'm not gonna do full flip throughs in this video, but I will share some more pictures on my Instagram. So this is the inside cover. You get this little library card pocket. And then each journal has an envelope with some little vintage Christmas stamps. And inside the envelope, there's a bunch of really pretty ephemera, including both new and old. So some really beautiful vintage pieces. And that's just clipped to the page. So you can take that off and use that however you like. And again, I'm not going to do a full flip through. I'm just going to give a quick glimpse. So I've included all of my usual paper types that I like to include. Some vintage ledger, some patterned pages some lined pages, some craft paper, music paper, book pages. And then the last signature is a big envelope so you can put your goodies inside. There's lots of different little pockets and tuck spots throughout that have been stitched in as well. So that is the green one. And then this is the pink one. So made very, very similarly. It's just a different color scheme. And there are the dangles on the spine, really, really cute. And the embossing underneath the image. And then inside, again, we have the same thing with the library card pocket. And then we have an envelope with all the same sorts of ephemera tucked inside. And that is just clipped to the page. And then all the same paper types inside here as well. And lots of different little pockets and tuck spots tucked inside. So lots of little fun bits and pieces to play with and really pretty selection of papers. This book has more pinky and blue tones and the other book has more traditional Christmas tones. And then there is the envelope in the back for this journal. So there is that one. They look really pretty together. The pink and the green really complement each other. So those are the only two hardcover journals in the collection. Then we have the soft cover collection. So there are three different sizes in this collection there's the large size and there's two journals in the large size and then there's the medium size and there are four journals in the medium size and then there's the small size and there are just two in the small size so the largest size measures about six and a half inches by almost nine inches tall and this has the beautiful gold embossing down the side there's some trim on the front and these covers are all made with craft text. There's some designs embossed and this window image with the reindeers. The back is just plain on this large one. And then all of the notebooks have these beautiful tabs hanging out the side as well. And they all have a couple of beads or charms hanging off the binding thread. So again, I'm not going to do a full flip through of these journals. I'm just gonna give you a glimpse. The inside on all the journals is this vintage wallpaper. They all have an envelope with the vintage stamps and they all have some goodies inside. And they all have some pockets and things tucked inside. This is a vintage label glued down onto the page. So there's lots of different types of tuck spots and some pretty little embellishments and bits and pieces throughout the journal. So there's some vintage paper, some new paper, some patterned paper, some book pages. There's some dyed pages, some lined pages, some paper bags, just a really nice range of papers to play with. So that is one of the large ones. And then there is one more large one, it looks like this. It has also some embossing down the side there and a pretty trim on the front and a different reindeer image. And then those are the charms. 
and then a quick look at the tabs. And again, just not going to do a full flip through, but I will give you a quick glimpse. There's some really nice papers inside each book. They all have the same sorts of pages, so you get the same sort of assortment to play around with. And these journals can bulk up really nicely. You can really fill up the pages with pictures and things and they can get nice and chunky. Also, all of the notebooks have one of the library cards attached here on a paper clip. So you can choose where you would like to stick that in your book if you would like to stick it in your book. So they are in each notebook. So those are the two largest sizes. Now moving on to the medium size. So first we have this brown one, really pretty and some trim along the front. And there are the beads along the binding and then tabs sticking out the side. These medium journals measure about five by seven and a half inches. And they all have the same wallpaper on the inside. And then again, just going to give you a really quick glimpse at the pages that are in here. Whoever gets these will have a little bit of a surprise going through, but it's all the same sorts of things that I always like to include. So there is that one. And the next one, another reindeer one. This one's so cute. This little trim along the bottom. And there's the tabs hanging out the side, which are all stitched on the pages and the little beads. And then the back is embossed. Sorry, this one is also embossed on the back. And again, just gonna give you another quick little glimpse through the book. There's some really cool dyeing effects and some really pretty papers. Love these scrapbook papers. These are vintage sale price tags which I used as tabs and some little pockets and paper bags and things. So there is that one. Next we have this one and the beads on the binding thread and the tabs and then the back looks like this. And another quick little glimpse inside. And as I said before, these types of journals with a soft cover, they can really bulk up. You can add a lot to the pages and they fatten up really nicely. So you can add quite a lot to these journals. So there's that one. And then the last one in the medium size is this green one. With this cute little scene in the window. There's the back and the little ribbon or trim and the tabs on the side. Then I'm just gonna do another little glimpse through. Just give you a quick little peek at some of the pages in here. Just lots of variety in each book. So there is that one. And then we have two little ones. These ones are four by six size. So they're a nice little hand size. This is the size I'm gonna be working in this year. And here is the beads and the tabs. There is the back. And these little ones also have an envelope. It just hangs out just a little bit. It's just a little bit too big for these books. But just some really beautiful papers in each book. All the same sorts of papers with little pockets and things throughout as well. So there is the little brown one. And then we have this little green one, which again, four by six size. There's the back, the beads, and the tabs. And then this one has this little bit of trim on the front. And then again, just gonna give you another little glimpse. These ones are a really nice size to hold in your hand. And for me, I'm going with this size this year because I've just felt so busy around Christmas the last few years that Christmas documenting has become less detailed for me. I've just kind of been doing a more minimal approach, but I feel like a book this size is really good for that sort of style because I can just put like one photo and a little bit of journaling each day and I don't have to feel like I need to decorate each page or add too much to fill out the pages. So that is my Christmas collection for 2021. One thing I wanna say is that I will ship these as quickly as I can from the sale. If you are buying internationally, there is a chance it may not arrive before December or even before Christmas time. So please keep that in mind. Shipping has just been crazy at the moment. so. There's no guarantees with how long 
shipping will take. It used to be about two weeks from Australia to America, but with COVID, everything has been really, really delayed. So there is unfortunately no guarantee that it will arrive in time for Christmas. So please just keep that in mind if you are thinking about purchasing. But that is my Christmas collection for this year finally. And I also want to quickly say I am putting together a class for how to make the soft cover Christmas journals. So I've already filmed it. I've already got all of my footage and everything together. I'm just finishing putting everything together into the Teachable site. And as soon as that class is ready, I'll share another video and all the details later on hopefully that will only be in about a week or so I'm so excited to finally be embarking on the journey of starting my own classes so this is just going to be the first one and I'm hoping there will be many more to come so if you do want to grab one of these journals but you miss out you can always take the class where I will teach you from start to finish, step by step, how to make your very own Christmas journal, just like these, but with all of your own preferences. So I hope you guys enjoy this little flip through. All the details for the restock will be down below. I hope you guys are all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Bye.